And Florida has approved the release of 750 million genetically modified mosquitoes to combat mosquito-borne diseases. The pilot project is aimed at reducing the number of mosquitoes that carry diseases like dengue fever or the Zika virus. The genetically modified male insects carry a protein that will kill off any female offspring before they are mature enough to bite people. They will be released in Florida Keys in 2021. And to talk more on this subject, we have with us CDV's Science and Technology Specialist, Dan Riskin. Dan, hello. Good to talk to you. It's been a while. Yeah, it has been a while. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you, my friend. So what are we looking at here? Genetically modified mosquitoes. You know, it reminds me of the film Jurassic Park with those flies, mosquitoes in the amber, and the film Fly in, in, in 1986, if I'm not wrong. But this is happening for real in yes. 2021. Go ahead. Yes, Jeff Goldblum strikes yes, twice, yes. doesn't he, in, in your mind on this one? <laughs> yeah, I, and Jeff Goldblum may well visit Florida in 2021 when they do this. But, you know, when people hear genetically modified mosquitoes, 750 million of them being released in the Florida Keys, they think, uh, this is a terrible idea. I've seen Jurassic Park. This can't possibly go well. But uh, the scientific community is pretty universal that this is a great direction to be taking things. There are some diseases that are spread by mosquitoes that uh, for which humans don't have any other cures. We've got to stop the mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are the most deadly animal on the planet. And the diseases that we're specifically looking at with these mosquitoes are things like Zika virus and dengue, which, you know, Zika virus is terrible. It malforms fetuses when they're developing. And so this is something we don't want people to get. And right now, the only way to stop these mosquitoes from spreading those diseases is to spray with chemicals. And when you spray with chemicals, you don't kill very many of the mosquitoes you want to kill, and you end up killing a whole bunch of other insects that have beneficial roles in the ecosystem, and it just isn't working. And so this is a new plan where they genetically modify some male mosquitoes and release them. And those genetically modified male mosquitoes are harmless because male mosquitoes don't bite people. And so they just go out there and they just look for females to mate with, and they mate as much as they can. And there are so many of them that they absolutely swamp the local population of mosquitoes so that most of the babies that come up in that next generation are the descendants of these genetically modified mosquitoes. But they have a DNA that's been, the, their DNA has been modified so that their offspring die. And so what ends up happening is all the females go and meet these handsome males that have been dropped <laughs> off. They mate with them. They have babies and the babies all die and the genetic and the population of mosquitoes crashes and it doesn't hurt the other insects in the ecosystem and it doesn't persist in the ecosystem. It just it's a one time thing. It wow. drops the population down and things continue. And you are sure that they're going to be handsome. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. I mean, they're genetically modified. So I mean, maybe they look but, like Jeff Goldberg. I don't know the details on that. But the idea is that there are so many of yeah. them that the females, they might they might think they're handsome or not. But I mean, nine out of 10 males that they meet are these genetically modified ones. Sure. And they can't but, tell the but, difference. But, you so know, I was thinking, I was thinking, sorry, but you know, every experiment, Dan, we've spoken on so many things that have happened in the past few years, but every experiment has a positive and a negative pros and cons. Do you see the flip side to this? You know what? I, I mean, there may be a flip side that surprises us. Uh, these things always happen. But, you know, uh, this has been done. I mean, this isn't the first time. It's the first time the United States is releasing genetically modified mosquitoes. And that's why it's in the news. And that's why people are very worked up about it. And a lot of people are very angry. But this has been done in the Cayman Islands. It's been done in Brazil with these exact genetic strains of males, and there are no ill effects. What's beautiful is that these genetically modified mosquitoes can't even pass their DNA on to the local population. So this happens. The population crashes, but then the next generation that does survive, say 5% of the original population, doesn't have any trace of that genetically modified DNA in it because the only survivors are the ones that weren't genetic descendants of those males that were dropped off. The males die, all their offspring die, and everything that survives isn't got the genetically modified traits. And so we're not talking about changing the populations that are out there. Right. It's a way of very of killing exactly who you want to kill in terms of mosquitoes without killing anybody else. Yeah, so that's like a very precise target in what they're aiming to do with this experiment. Okay, we'll have to leave it at that. Great conversation and insights always. Dan Riskin, CDV Science and Technology Specialist. Thanks, Dan. Thank you so much. Have a great night. You too.